Keep up. This is Raven coming at you. In this video, I'm going to show you my farming build that I use for my demon hunter. Now, she's non-season, but this is actually a pretty good build for farming. And you can do greater rifts. There's actually a couple different ways you can do this. Let's take a look at her. Take a look at the cube. Korma, Let's go so in here. You know like I said, there's a, there's a couple different ways. I this is what I use for my farming build. And uh, she's actually pretty quick. But if you want to make her quicker, you can. But you, talk you just got to change a gem and all of this weighs a belt heavily upon my soul. and another gem. But let's take a look at this. I'll show you what I got in cube. Of course, we got Dawn. I got Cinder Colt. And of course, the Ring of Royal Grander to reduce the number of items because I want to wear my uh, Pride's Fall. Now, you can get this out of bounties, and you can find that. Hopefully, you'll get an Ancient with a socket. It took me a while to find one, but uh, I finally got one. I'd have loved to have the Primal, but I didn't get one of them. But that goes really good with my Cinder Coat. And just, of course, my standard uh, set. And now, Amulet, you can use uh, whatever you want, Hellfire Amulet. Or whatever you really want. And of course I got the bracers. And I'm using uh, resistance. And focus. This is excellent. And, the, and these you, you can change also if you want to use convention of element. And uh, put your other ring of royal grander on. And put something else here that would be totally up to you but this is the way I do it these are the rings I like to use and then of course your bow and dead man's legacy and the gems you could actually change this gem the man on the stricken if you want more speed you can put in uh, the gem of swiftness and that'll go real good with the this right here to give you a little more speed. And if you want more toughness, you can, like I said, you can change the rings. You can wear uh, the band every time you pick up gold, increase gold, and help pick up radius. And then put your belt on for more armor to give you more toughness. You'll be, give you a lot more armor plus a lot more gold and that's where you can use a convention and uh, Everest band and you put them on but this is the way I do it and uh, for my belt I got the buff belt gives me 25% more run speed and she's quite quick enough she's actually pretty quick so I haven't changed anything else. Like I said, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Let me go show you, show you the... I already got one set up over here. In the armory. Let me find it. That's more for a greater riff. Right here. Because I got the gold wrap on. And then I got the Boon of Hoarder gem in here. It gives me more armor. And then pretty much every everything is just the same. Except for the belt. The gem. And then I wore my uh, Pride's Fall. I put that in a queue. Then of course uh, Dawn. And every time you pick up gold. Goes with my belt. You can do it this way. But I usually use this build here. When I'm farming. And I use the, like I said, I use the buff belt. And the gems. Stone of Vengeance. Ban of the Trap. And Ban of the Stricken. Like I said, you can change that gem. To uh, Swiftness. To give you a little more speed if you want. But I, I don't need it. She's been great. Uh, she works really well. She's fast enough. And if you ain't got enough uh, cooldown, you can always use Ingu. 
for more cooldown. But I got her set. She's pretty good, so I just use her for farming, and I'll wipe out greater rifts, 85, 90, real easy with her. Just looking for primals and just farming. But these are two different options you can do. Let me see what I got at the bottom here. Yeah, this is what I have set up on her right now. Except for the gym here. And of course for greater rifts, I, I use him for higher greater rifts. Or her. It's just a few things change. The witching hour. And actually this uh, gym needs to be changed. But I haven't uh, played her in greater risk for a while. I've been using uh, this build here. But it's a great farm build. And she's quick. And she's quick enough. I can just go through the greater rip real easy. 10 16. Or T 16. Need more time. She'll wipe it out real quick. And I have found a lot of primals just farming. Just going through it like that. Let me show you what I got here. Of course, I got Volt, Trello, Cinders. Because I got a Cinder code on. Preparation. Permanently increase maximum discipline. Vengeance, of course. Increase hatred. And then for my companion here, I use the ferret. It picks up all the gold for me, and then it gives me uh, extra speed. Increase your movement speed. So I use that, and then of course, SS fire. I got focus, increase hatred. Then arsenal. Let's take a look at these other ones. Then I got Thrill of the Hunt. Enemies hit by your hatred are slowed by 80% for two seconds. Then whenever you use Bolt, smoke screen, backflip, 60% movement speed gives me a little bit more movement speed, tactical advantage, and just for more damage. Ambush, ballistic. And it works real well, especially for farming. It's just a good build for farming. You can go through it quick. Go in here for a second. It don't take no time. Get in here. Then your trial. Just run through it. I'm still waiting. Quick. And like I said, I got the bracers on, and I bragging about her and died. I didn't get away in time. Not ready yet. You can't change your uh, uh, gems to diamonds for more resistance if you want. Need more time. But she's really good. She's strong. Bleed, she goes you real good. I use a most of the farm. It don't take no time to go through something. I just jump through it. Not ready yet. Bragging on her and I didn't get away from that shine. But it's a great build for farming. I am returning to town. I've been using it for quite a while. And I have picked up a lot of primals doing that. Quite a few primals. And this is what I put on on my other set. Well, same set, but uh, if I'm going to do higher, greater rifts, 
you can wear that on her or uh, put it in a cube. Most of the time I will put it in a cube. Because what did I have on that? I think it was right here. Oh, that's my shadow. Yeah. Because I was doing greater risk with this one day. Just messing around. But you actually want your... Uh, the goons in your cube here. Then whatever you want put here. It's fine. But this is a great farming build for farming. I really like it. Like I said, these two here, you can set it up like this, or you can set it up like this for your cube. Put Pride Falls in your cube, Averse Band, where you are, uh, Gold Wrap, and put your uh, Boon of the Hoarder gem in. And you'll be good. And like I said, you can switch these gems out and put dim diamonds in for more resistance if you want. Or you can use this build, which I usually use right here. I wear Pride's, Pride's Fall. That would be this one down here. I got my Cinder Colt and Cube. Of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur, reduce the number of items course Don and like I said you can use any amulet you want Hellfire amulet gives you another skill of course I'm wearing Pride's Fall I got the buff belt on resistance and focus thrill of the hunt tactical advantage ambush ballistics Multi-shot arsenal. Trail the cinders. And that's it. It's a really good build. Especially for apartment. That's what I use. I've been using it for a long time. I switch it every once in a while. That's why I got a couple different sets in here. I'll come back and play this one once in a while. And if I get too high in greater rifts, I'll come back and grab this set. Like I said, this gem needs to be changed out for the greater rift. And uh, Vengeance of Goons needs to be put in a queue for uh, higher greater rifts here. But I haven't played this set in a while. I just been farming with a uh, farming with her and doing maybe level 85 greater rifts with her. But she walks through pretty good. She walks through really good. It doesn't take long at all. Well, if this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. This is Raven. This is Raven out.